involved in the social studies department here. Could we please give him a round of applause? And he will so when I first said I would speak, um, I, I immediately said, okay, what's the topic? They said an aha moment. I said, okay, well, if I'm gonna go with the theme of my last speech, uh, which some of you may have seen either here or on YouTube where I told everybody they didn't have to go to college, which was really not what I told everyone, um, then, you know, everyone said, we, you know, they expected something like counterintuitive or counter to the topic. So I immediately shouted out that I was gonna do why the aha moment is a bad thing. But of course, that was my initial aha, and that's not really what I want to say. What I want to do, though, is hopefully get people to think about what that means, why we, why we like the aha moment so much. I mean, it's a great term. Um, you Google it, you get a lot of stuff on an aha moment if you put it in Google. Um, just if you want, the first definition that comes up is a moment of sudden realization, inspiration, insight, recognition, or comprehension. Now, who couldn't like that? We all want insight, we all want comprehension, we all want to recognize the ultimate truths. But what is it we, we also like about it? I, I think there's a simplicity to it. There's a, a romance to it. Like if you just kind of sit there long enough, eventually we're gonna have an aha moment and it's gonna be really cool. And it's gonna set us down the best path. Um, it's gonna be our moment where it's gonna set us on down the yellow brick road and that'll be good. And that's a great thing and I think sometimes people have that. But I also think, in some ways, it represents what we really sometimes want that's not such a great idea, which is an absolute plan. I mean, it does go back to the idea, I said, you know, everyone wants to, what am I gonna study next year, and I have to have a plan, I have to know what, I know my job, I know what I'm gonna be. And to me, at least, I could be wrong, an aha moment seems really final. It's like, this happened right now, um, it's gonna set me on a path, you know, the idea that, um, and I look, you know, a lot of people like to say that, you know, Bill Gates was like an overnight sensation. Meanwhile, you know, it was 10, 12 years. There's a, a famous line, um, it, uh, Harry Belafonte quoted somebody when he said, it took me 20 years to become an overnight sensation. Um, a lot of those aha moments, I think we think of them as a momentary piece of time where something great happened, and we forget that there's a lot more to them. Um, the, the, I was trying to think of aha moments in history or what we think of them, and um, I don't know if there's any physics fans here. I don't think Mr. Covert's here this year. He gave great, thank you. And I, I heard that if I say Ethan's name, it gets a big applause, so. Um, Ethan, good job. Um, yeah. um, but, you know, we, the, the ultimate sort of aha moment, it seemed to me, was Newton. You all remember Newton, right? The apple. How many people, and I have no idea because when you're up here you can't see anybody, but how many people remember learning about Newton and the apple that dropped on his head? Yeah? Okay, good. I'm sure somebody raised their hand out there. Maybe Ethan. Um, but, uh, you know, and he like, ooh, gravity. At least that's the way I was always taught it. Because that's the romantic way of thinking about it. But that led me to one of, I think, a great, one of my favorite quotes from um, any scientist, I'm gonna admit, I don't know a lot of quotes from a lot of scientists, but um, I like this one. And some of you probably heard it. Newton said, if I have seen further than others, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. And what I kind of, how I thought that related to this topic was, we have this image of Newton as making these quick discoveries, and, and he, he, the apple in the head, he knew about gravity. And Newton himself recognized that life is more than a moment that life is a series of events in your own life. And as Newton was paying homage to, the people who had come before him who had moved him along. And obviously, Einstein doesn't happen without Newton. And so life is a series, a series of events and a series of historical happenings that I think really, really have to be recognized, to me at least, as greater than the individual moments that they are. So I hope, as you go off, at least the students in here, go off next year, the year after, the year after, you will look for a whole series of moments. You'll be open to the fact that life is a long journey and it's not a, and the moments aren't stopping points, but they're just way stations on the way to the next great moment. Thank you.